Hello, Product Manager Martin Brennan here to quickly show you a workaround for a small software limitation in Adobe After Effects when using the Mocha Pro plugin. So some of you will have seen this situation inside Adobe After Effects when you're using the plugin. You've tracked your lovely scene here, and we've got a nice example here of this track going across the path. And now you want to actually go ahead and export this to some tracking data. So we can come down here to our export tracking data. I've already got After Effects corner pin supports motion blur selected, and I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. So that's the usual process. Now we go ahead and close and save. And back inside After Effects, I'm now going to choose the layer that I want to apply the corner pin to, go up to Edit, and... Oh, there's no Paste option available. So this is the problem we are running into, and I'm going to show you the very quick solution to this. All we have to do is Alt-Tab Out, and Alt-Tab Back In, and now the option is suddenly available. So why is this happening? Well, when we are back inside the plugin interface, what's happening is that the data is being exported to the clipboard, and it's definitely there. You can go and paste it to a text file or whatever you like. But when we close and save, After Effects is not actually checking to see if the clipboard is now changed. So we actually have to go out of After Effects and back in, and then After Effects will get a little kickstart to actually check the clipboard. So this is obviously a little limitation currently in After Effects, and I'm sure they're looking at a fix over time. But in the meantime, the workaround is that solution. Just Alt-Tab out, and Alt-Tab back in, and then you'll be all good to go. Now, we are bringing in a permanent solution to this in a later version of the Mocha Pro Adobe plugin, and that will be some additional options here in the tracking data section. We're going to be adding a apply export function directly into the tracking data section so that the clipboard actually becomes redundant. You can just select a layer, choose apply export, and the data that you've chosen in here will apply to whatever layer you've linked to. But that is upcoming, so for now you have to use the workaround of going out of the program and going back in. So that's it, a simple solution for a simple problem. If you've got any questions, do feel free to get in touch with us via the support page at imagineersystems.com. Otherwise, thank you very much for listening, and goodbye.